Rob LC. We're here back with a brand new edition of Board Shorts. This week, we head down to T Street Beach and catch up with the Godowskis brothers. The Godowskis brothers put on an event called the Stokerama the same week as the WCT World Championship Tour event at Lower Trestles to provide the kids an opportunity to compete and have some fun. The Godowskis brothers, Patrick, Tanner, and Dane, utilized their sponsors to create an environment where every kid received a prize and the winner received an Al Merrick surfboard and some of the goodie bags included skull candy headphones and much more. Patrick is currently ranked 23rd on the World Championship Tour and was scheduled to surf the very next day at the Hurley Pro. some of his connections and made some phone calls to get the world's best surfers to show up out of the blue 11-time world champion Kelly Slater showed up for an expression session right here at T Street and also did some guest announcing so I hope you guys can be as stoked as we were at this year's first annual Stokerama put on by the Godowskis brothers right here on board shorts Uh, my name is Patrick Dowskis. We're here at Stokerama, first annual Grom Times uh, for St. Clemente, Groms. And well, we just really wanted to do something to give back to the community. And um, you know, we grew up as Groms surfing all day anyway, too, frothing, super psyched. So this is kind of where it came from. And uh, you know, the kids have been ripping all day. And it just was uh, an organic thing that just grew into people. The conditions are sick, waves are pumping, and the guys are absolutely blown up, and the girls. I've just seen like. Some heroic performances, guys like this one right here. Okay. Ripping, yeah. <laughs> Sick ripping going on, and uh, you know it's it's fun to watch. It's really entertaining. So we're gonna do an expression session, kind of a couple of the pros in town. You know, I asked a bunch of guys to come down. We'll see who shows up, and you know the waves are fun. Everyone's stoked and fire up the finals, and it's, it's on. Kelly Slater, you're watching Board Shorts, and we're at Sograma. Godowskis is just an epic family, really cool guys. I just love being around these guys, and uh, cool, the train. So, look at this peak. We're not right. hiding from anybody, but this, this is right. Look at the red, the kin red. Oh, oh, such a good point. The waves are the waves are super fun. There's a there's plenty of waves for the kids and good sections. Like rights, lefts, little inside bowls or outside runners and um, yeah, no shortage of waves. You know, no one's getting caught with, without catching waves in their heat, so it, which is cool.
what about the future of uh, surfing of San Clemente in the United States? Oh, the future of surfing, it's, that needs in good hands, you know. I mean, just the average kids are so much better than we were at this age. You know, they got a head start on equipment and, and all the videos and the access to seeing everybody surf. And, you know, I, I, I'm pretty happy when I grew up surfing, but, I mean, it's a pretty pretty sick time now to, to be starting out and, and uh, to be learning all that stuff, you know, to, to see what all the sort of, what I would consider the young guys, what they're doing now. The guys around 20 years old, you know, from... Uh, you know, Kolohe and, and uh, Gabe Medina and John John and, and Dane, who's sort of one of the older guys now in a way. And, um, you know, and then even into the younger kids like Kanoe Garashi and, um, and there's so many, there's such a uh, wealth of talent and, you know, the access to, for everyone to see all that and to be able to apply that to their own surfing. And, you know, there's a good free surf movement now that really is like, it's just a totally separate thing. Then there's a real full on big wave thing you know so there's, there's really different branches that are growing exponentially every year and and um you know good there's a good grouping in each of those for guys to access what they like to do um whether it's to make video parts and go for big moves or just travel and find the biggest waves in the world and, you know these guys are a, a part of those trips you know dane dane especially you know he he takes almost every trip with the big wave guys following swells and then he gets on half the trips with all the other guys so you know these guys just froth out bunch of smiling faces on the beach and uh, we had a lot of great prizes the kids were stoked on and everybody just enjoyed the stokerama to the maximus so couldn't be a better day gunner j well uh, i did a little reverse and then claimed it a 10 So it's yeah, just uh, probably about a year in the works trying to get everything sorted with permits and stuff but it just came from a thought that we really wanted to do something special for the kids here and uh, they're always serving tissue anyway so we just really wanted to have them a shot where they could surf all day with no one out and share some high fives and stoke and surf as many times as they can win or lose everyone's a winner you know so that was our goal and we got really blessed with such amazing conditions and it worked out. Dane, you're watching the Stokerama on Boy Shorts. Fourth place, we got Hagen Johnson. Great run. All right, in third place, Jet Schilling. Guys been ripping all day long. All right, number one and two, Kai McPhillips in second place. Great surfing. And finally, number one, Cade Matson. Great job.
one and two for the grand prize of winning the Channel Island Surfboard. And uh, second place, we have Alexa. You guys are insane, meaning first place, Maria Osterkamp. Been all day long, had a perfect time earlier in the day. First and second place, in second place, Connor Dan. That means in first place, Sanko Manion, K. Kobayashi. Good job, boys. All you guys are winners. Who helped contribute for this event today and made this thing possible? We got Vans, Skull Candy, Channel Island Surfboards, Nixon, GoPro, Penny Skateboards, Jennifer Rubies, Juice It Up Smoothies, Eco Sunscreen, Local Zebra House Coffee, and Friends of San Clemente. That's the foundation right here. And uh, the Ding Doctor as well. So. Well, I just finished um, the award ceremony. It was insane, as was the entire day. Uh, it's all about the kids getting stoked, and uh, we had some of the younger Groms as well as some of the 14-year-olds who were ripping. So I couldn't be more stoked. The surf cooperated for the entire day. Um, sick little peelers running in a T-street, and uh, the vibe seemed really positive. I think everyone was stoked to oh, be yeah. part of it. So as were Pat, Dan, and I, it's a it's a great opportunity for us to just kind of be here with the kids and get stoked with them in our suits. So uh, it's a great day. Yeah, this is our rabbit bugs about little Mew and you're watching board shorts. Three, two, one, two, one, two, three. Yeah, this is our rabbit bugs about little Mew and you're watching board shorts. Three, two, one, two, one, two, three. Situation using our guns for domination. I wish one hey, bug. How was that wave? Pretty fun. Okay, tell me about. Tell me a little bit about lower. Tell me a little bit about this event, and just give me your perspective on it. Well, you know, it's a super high performance wave, and you know, coming out of uh, Fiji and Chopu, it's. It's great to see the guys going through the repertoires and you know it's a skate park. It's a hurley event, it's a fun event, you know. Hurley really the focus is on the athletes. I think everyone feels really comfortable being here and it brings out the best in their surfing. <laughs> Pretending to be kings People of the world Tonight said we fight Said one day we will cut the street yeah. We are always in this situation Using our guns for domination I wish one day it's all change Easy. It's not that easy to look at 
your child say I know he made that promise But your daddy is not coming home today well, And if you saw her tears with your own Maybe one day you'd open those eyes and you'd realize what's going on You say, we are always in this situation Using our guns for domination I wish one day it's all would change you how to surf and who takes you to the beach most of the time? My dad. <laughs> nice. What's your dad's name? Hank Camp. Nice. Uh, what was your dad? Was your dad a coach here in town? Tell me a little bit about your dad's history. Um, well, he coached my middle school last year for like all the school contests and stuff. And he, when he was younger, he did the Bud Pro Tour. And yeah. <laughs> This is Malia Ostergam and we're here at T Street and you're watching Board Shorts on Cox Channel 3.
Openshaw, coach of the Bernie Sayers Middle School surf team, and you're watching Board Shores. John Openshaw, coach of the Bernie Sayers surf team. Practice. A lot of grommets in the water. We're out here just ripping it up and, and honing their skills for competition and fun. Talk to me about Scholastic Competition and tell me about, about the BAMS Middle School team. What we have going on in Scholastic Competition, the SSS, the Scholastic School Series, is a combination of individual surfing combined with a team sport. Uh, we have uh, six, actually seven schools that make up our division, and that's uh, schools like Shore Cliffs and Vista Del Mar and Marco Forster, Bernice Ayers, and a couple others. And then statewide, there's 23 schools that make up the West Coast SSS. So uh, there's six, five or six regular season events that are culminated with three championship events, one by the SSS and two by the NSSA. Uh, we have uh, 19 kids represent the team in each event. So nine boy short boarders, three boy long boarders, three, two girl short boarders, two girl long boarders, and three body boarders. So that's the team concept. So basically you're taking an individual sport where everybody, you know, surfing is individualism, freedom, and you're holding them accountable to team rules, guidelines, and participation. And it's unique because it, it brings the sport together in that team format, which, as you know, helps kids develop. Alright, Alexa. All right, Alexa. Middle school is a transition for kids. A uh, time when they figure themselves out and figure out what they want to do. And what surfing allows the kids to do is to have confidence in themselves. Uh, kids that maybe wouldn't be on a football team or a baseball team or cheerleading uh, are able to interact and participate in a surfing format and, and build their confidence in life through surfing, build their skills in surfing, and then hopefully springboard from middle school to possibly making the high school team, which as we know in Sacramento is a difficult thing to do. Uh, if not, the high school team, uh, maybe again on the individual side with NSSA, WSA, and Prime. Hey, there's White on the backhand drawing down the line, big backside hook. What? Electro and charging hard on her 11th wave is Alexa on Siwi from San Clemente to the inside. Wave number 11 trying for a 7. Uh, and, and developing their skills and, and hopefully attaining the higher levels of surfing. Uh, again, it starts with middle school programs and high school programs and NSSA and WSA lead to junior pro and pro events and, and ultimately that's where every kid in the water would like to see themselves. Hey, yo. This is PT at the Hurley Pro for Board Shorts. Today 
Eight of 50, mate. 50. Can you believe that? That's a huge number. But, uh, you know, sets it up for the rest of the season. You know, he, he didn't go to Rio. Got kind of a result in Tofu. And now he's back on the boil. And uh, could be 12. All right. <laughs> All right. This is Bob Hurley, and you're watching Board Shorts. Maybe Phantom Board Shorts. Sure, the best week of surfing ever in the history of the world. Best surfers in the finals, Kelly Slater, Joel Parkinson. Incredible result, perfect surf, friendly locals, happy people. The Hurley 2012 champion, Hurley Pro Champ, Kelly Slater. Let it flow.